when the storm clouds grizzle and rain pours down, you can either run from it or bathe in it. Relishing in the moment that makes you realise you are thoroughly alive. <laughs> Come escape with us this week as we leave the super yachts behind in Falmouth Harbour and head somewhere a little more, hmm, remote. It's just Zach and I now, as we drop the crew off before we left. Best of luck. And it's time for some serious exploration. From the top of trees, to the colorful reef below. Oh, and you can't forget a few of those, you know, launching feelings of joy. <laughs> for those who have joined our story here, hi, we're Becca and Zach. We bought our boat Taylor last March after saving for years. And after six months of figuring it all out in the UK, oh, we ditched the lines and really started the adventure. So come along with us for the highs, the lows, and absolutely everything in between. Because we're not just doing it. We're bloody doing it. The next place we were heading was uninhabited. So after picking up some provisions, we pulled up anchor and headed out of Falmouth Harbour. We were sailing just 10 nautical miles, but somewhere a lot more off the beaten track. That's the anchor dog. Now let's give a quick thank you to today's sponsor, AG1. When you're traveling full time, ensuring that you get all your required vitamins and minerals can be a bit overwhelming. As can remembering to take an oversized pill each day, which always gets a bit stuck in your throat. Luckily, AG1 contains 75 high quality whole food source ingredients, including vitamins, minerals, superfoods, probiotics, and adaptogens. And even better, you don't have to look in the bilges for them. Huzzah! They are all right here in one scoop, which we take every morning in just eight ounces of water. It's really as simple as that. So now, we can eat plain rice and not have to worry about being those Brits that bought a boat and ended up with scurvy. How wonderful. Joking aside, we particularly love that AG1 contains vitamin C, zinc, and fungus mushrooms which help support our overall immune health and also the sustained energy that many key ingredients give us throughout the day meaning we can sail further and dive deeper this has really become an effortless daily habit for us and a yummy one too think pineapples if you are also interested in taking ownership of your health head over to athleticgreens.com forward slash tribe for your free one year supply of vitamin d3 and k2 and buy free travel packs with your first purchase. Thank you again to AG1 for sponsoring today's video. That felt so good. That water's amazing. We bought bananas! Hello! We had arrived at Green Island. Known for being uninhabited and, mmm, green. <laughs> We'd be spending the next few days with our friends Anna and Stig, who we met while sailing in Portugal. Oh my gosh, why is it making that sound? Oh no way! Stig just found them, there's loads over there. Let me hear. He's not gonna bite my ear, is he? No, but you can hold him there. Just he, If he bites your hand though, it will hurt. He's quite big. A little hermit Is it a hermit crab? Do you wanna hear him? Yeah. He makes like a sweep. <laughs> you can feel it in the whole... Do you want the back of the bushes? 
Aww. He's cute, isn't he? Cooking our dinner on the beach over a fire. Not as well that I made it earlier. Cheers. Perfect. And learning to kite surf. Something Zach picked up incredibly quickly. That was so good. That's fun. And I, not so fast. <laughs> we woken up this morning to a squall. You can barely see the boat because it's so, we're so in a cloud right now, but now it's the rain, it's, the wind will die down significantly. But yeah, we're just gonna get ready and then when this squall passes, we will get a move in. But hopefully the sun comes back out because we, we can't really move in this. Well, we can't see the reef. It's a bit wet out here. I think we'll wait till all these grey clouds go before heading because we need to see the reef. Yeah, sure. I'm just getting stuff ready. Okay, rain has stopped. Sun has... Rain has stopped. Sun has come out. So it is go time! We've paused a little bit and then just reverse back to where we reverse that gap there and go... Bye! Bye. Are we up? Nice. That's good. It's not my first rodeo. Disgusting 27. So it's a little bit windy, but we put a little bit of headsail up just to keep us pulling through the waves because we'll beam on and it's just messy chop. We would get our main up, but it's such a short distance. We're going like three miles now. After a super short but pretty wet sail. Oh my <laughs> we dropped our hook just in time for a squall to hit us. A little bit of excitement for the day, but yeah, everyone, and literally everyone's gone. That's crazy. They're all like leaving still, and it's literally fine. That's so bizarre. Oh, maybe it was like the end of their session anyway. I thought it started at ten. Their oh, session. People want to get cold and stuff, don't they, Becca? I guess so. We're hardened sailors, Zach. <laughs> oh, talking of hardened sailors, he kicked a cleat. I healed a cleat. And they say you should always wear shoes on a sailboat. Yeah, I probably should, but. <laughs> We live on it, it's a bit, a little bit. I don't worry, especially when it's raining. Imagine what man we wet pairs of shoes we'd always have. Yeah, that's true. A quick snack later, and it was time to get in the water and enjoy the reason we had dropped anchor in this place. Home to many species of fish and hundreds of stingrays, it was pretty magical being able to swim amongst them. We couldn't stay too long though, as we weren't in the anchorage we were going to be staying at overnight. So it was time to make our way to the next island. So we're now on our way to Great Bird Island. But we have our full genoa out and our main knot up because we are going about two to three miles to, from there to here. We are mostly sailing. Winds are still quite light anyway. But we've got this exciting 
the exciting channel coming up now. If we thought that one was exciting, this one's really exciting. When we get there, we'll show you on the charts exactly why it's exciting. We're gonna have to be really concentrating. I'll be on the bow, Zach will be helming. We've got this, but it is a, a narrow gap. I'm looking forward to it though, a challenge. Lovely, what day is it today? Tuesday? Yeah, I think so. Tuesday morning lunchtime challenge. It's a nice day now. We wouldn't have done this entrance if it was much worse than this, especially how it was this morning. We would have gone around. There's a long way, but it adds about another hour and a bit on the journey. So if we could take it, we were going to take this one. We're pretty much through the channel. Yeah, yeah, we're through the worst of it. We had some friends tell us that that channel was a little bit deeper um, than it actually says on the chart. So on here, it says it got down to three and a half which is still enough for our 1.8 draft but it ended up being minimum depth of like 6.5 and most of it was around 10 and it got down to 16 a point so a lot deeper i don't know if the hurricane that came through mm. deepened those channels a you can lot. see over there there's so much reef yeah. it really doesn't come out that well on camera but you can see it all over there it's a little bit hairy i'm so glad we did go through there though there was one point where we surfed a wave down in the channel and i was like it's fine, it's fine. It reminded me of there's these people on YouTube who, I guess it's not a good thing, but it's like harbour failures or marina failures where there's a small harbour wall and big swell and people surf their boats in through the wall. And it reminded me of that. I was like, just, just, we'll, we'll go straight, just go straight. But it looks so cool in here. It's really cool. Oh my gosh, it's lovely. Wow. Dodging that reef and navigating that butt clenchingly tight channel was so worth it because we had arrived at Great Bird Island. Measuring just 20 acres and only accessible by boat, we felt we had just stepped into one of our many past Caribbean dreams. So we arrived in, and guess what the depth in this anchorage is? <gasps> 2.7 meters. So I'm about to jump in and check out the anchor. We've got 20 meters of chain out because although we're in, well, 2.7, so basically three, there's been some big schools roll through, so we want to be sure that we are safe. But we're sharing the anchorage with only one other boat, so that is lovely. and. Yeah, it seems like a beautiful place to be exploring and chilling out for the next few days. It's so shallow. Look at this. I also think a big school's about to hit. <laughs> When we were in Swansea, we dreamt of we dreamt of anchoring in crystal clear turquoise water and walking along white sand beaches. And now we are. It's just, I don't know the coolest feelings. That's just gone to get a coconut and oh, just so grateful. Really, really grateful.
love our life. Is that my dream evening? Yes, it is. So cool. Yeah, we'll drop the It's a proper cave. There's a, uh, like a hogfish or something sitting in there. It's not really? big, yeah. It's a perfect hind spot for a fish. Can you just pull me out if you think I'm Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on, I'll get your foot, yeah? Cool, eh? That's amazing. That's so cool. You could definitely, if you were like a really skilled diver, you could swim through that gap. Like, you know. I could do that. No, no. I'm not, go I'm not going to because I have no idea how narrow it is on the other side. What a cool place. A geologist would have a field day here. We spent the next few days scrubbing the hull and soaking in every minute on this tranquil island. But alas, our visa for Antigua was running out. So it was time to sail back to Jolly Harbour where the magic all began. Today, we're heading from our anchorage. We're going out here. We're not going up there, we're actually going up the channel. Past all this reef. And then pretty much just along the coast, we're gonna go around here. And yeah, I don't know why it's taking us in there, weird and then down to Jolly Harbour Mosquito Cove. Okay, whenever you're ready. This is champagne sailing. It's going to get much better than this. We've got 15 knots of wind at the moment. Dead calm seas because we're still protected by some reefs to our east. And yeah, it's just cruisy. We've got the whisker pole out now. I need to pay attention to the whisker drive. <laughs> got the whisker pole out. Not the neatest whisker pole in the world, but um, we've only got like five miles until... Less four. We're about four miles until we're starting to bear off a bit more, so... It's so weird when you tilt your head with polarized glasses. Is it? Yeah, the whole sky goes light and darker. Weird. Come on, put your head back and forth. Oh, weird. That's really weird. I've never done that before. We are a bit gutted because we really wanted to go to Barbuda, which is an idyllic sand island. However, there's 30 knot winds coming in, in the next few days, and it. 30 knot plus. Yeah, there's not much shelter over there at all, actually. It's a really flat island. You, apparently, you can't, when you're sailing to it, you can't see it until you're about a mile or two away. We don't want to stay longer in Antigua because 
I don't know if you've caught on from the videos recently, but it's really expensive here. And you can go get more food with it for us, it was really quickly buying out tinned goods from the canaries. Aren't yeah, we've been living on tinned goods that we bought in Las Palmas all those months ago. And we actually have probably only bought maybe three or four fresh things since being here. Actually, it's so expensive. It's, Some of the stuff that's grown locally isn't awful. Well, it's limited. It's only uh, aubergines and... Uh, what? Some lettuce kind of Lettuce. Bit. But even a lettuce head is like three, four pounds just for lettuce. And yeah, we've decided that we're going to go to Guadeloupe, which is French owned, and stock up in the car for there. We're really looking forward to actually buying a lot of food and eating well again. If we don't go now, we'll be here at least for another week. So we just decided that we're going to have to cut our losses this time, Miss Barbuda. We can't see everything. We've got to make peace with that. And maybe on another lap round or in another life, we'll come back and we'll go there. But this time we're going to have to miss Barbuda off the list. But that's okay. We've got the rest of the Southern Caribbean to explore and really looking forward to Guadeloupe. The French culture and rainforests, hiking. Oh, very excited. Yeah, he jumped sideways. That was amazing. Thanks for joining us for our circumnavigation of Antigua. Next time, we sail to Guadeloupe and soak in some French Caribbean culture, even if that means a few of our windiest nights on anchor to date. It's one in the morning.